So unit five ending <clears throat> power couple X-ray machine. So yesterday in previous session. So we completed some features regarding X-ray machine. So in that uh, in that X-ray machine, uh, so we have uh, some basic theory according that. Uh, so we have explained the basic architecture of a X-ray machine. So in this class, we will explain how this X-ray machine. Uh, further extend to possible ways. So this is a portable X-ray machine where this uh, X-ray machine will be carried by the technician. So this is some portable X-ray machine, uh, X-ray image for a lung system. So this is the portable X-ray machine uh, image for ortho joints. So it is a portable X-ray machine graph for joint. So another example for X-ray machine, X-ray image for uh, skeleton of the scalp. These are the various X-ray message for various joints like uh, footprint, scalp, leg bone, spinal cord, muscle joints, leg bones. So he's the father of the X-ray machine, X-ray therapy. So the unit number five ending, uh, we have uh, uh, biotelemetry. So in this biotelemetry, we will discuss about introduction to biotelemetry, physiological parameters adaptable to biometry, components of biotelemetry system, and implantable units, telemetry for ECG measurements during exercise. So telemetry for emergency patient monitoring. So this is the index terms in the biotelemetry. So we will look uh, one after another how this biotelemetry will able to uh, explain in a regular field. So the basic intention for biotelemetry were the requirements of this biotelemetry. So let us talk uh, something biotelemetry. So these are the basic requirements for the biotelemetry. So monitoring of uh, astronauts in the space by radio frequency transmission. So as we know, astronauts, when they settle down in the geo orbits, so we have to test them, their health status by ground air stations. That's why we require a uh, biotelemetry for ground to concerned geo-earth stationary orbits. So simply says a monitoring of astronauts in the space by radio frequency transmissions. Second point, a monitoring of the patients while exercising since connecting leads and comes home 
the dangerous so we have to monitor some icu so in some foreign countries in icu not like our country so people may not go nearer to the patient so they direct, they can directly uh, monitor the health condition of the patient just by making this uh, biotelemetry field so monitoring of the patients while exercising is very important in the concerned biotelemetry so sometimes we require a patient ambulance system so patient uh, when patient traveling in the ambulance we have to uh, know the status of the patient uh, whether he uh, alive or not so that can be done by biotelemetry so in foreign countries uh, medical data transmission from home or office uh, can easily done by the making of this uh, biotelemetry so this biotelemetry can be done in proper uh, manner so medical data transmission from home or office something has research on unauthorized animals so biotelemetry is helpful to know the health conditions in the zoo and etc isolation of an electricity is acceptable patient so when the patients joined in icu we have to know the major nowadays during covid time everybody know the word isolation so this biotelemetry helps to know the Uh, electrically susceptibility of the concerned patient in the proper manner or not so basic uh, recording this uh, biotelemetry so one thing need to know the basic uh, introduction to biotelemetry so as of all the basic uh, introduction to biotelemetry so biotelemetry is the measurement of uh, biological parameters over some distance why because at all the time doctor or a nurse may not be able to touch the patient during 24 hours during covid time we have we saw various examples in the hospitality domain so the biotelemetry is a measurement of uh, biological parameters over a distance Uh, something as uh, a scope is the example for biotelemetry to know uh, the nature of the patient when the pa- patient is alive a particular heartbeat is not so in this case uh, heartbeats are amplified acoustically and transmitted through halo tube system uh, which is packed up by the uh, ear of the physician in the interoperation basic on this uh, biotelemetry Uh, telephone lines uh, which are be used to certain applications of biotelemetry so that uh, the telephones are hardwired earlier but not now so however uh, we are concerned with the use of uh, telemetry using uh, biological data which are converted into suitable form so we have to know the concerned uh, so telephone lines uh, sometimes be helpful for uh, physiological parameters that we have to adaptable uh, concerned body so for example here i mention what are the basic uh, uh, biological parameters in the human body for example heart beats the blood pressure a blood flow the body temperature a sugar content of the blood respiration amount of the blood blood types and patient conditions so these are the some biological parameters we have to know uh, actually these biological parameters uh, helmetry tracking may help full to know the uh, these uh, biotelemetry Uh, based upon this uh, biotelemetry uh, we have some uh, few categories uh, which are be divided here for example in our our past lectures we have ecg emg eeg and bioelectrical variables so why because ecg emg eeg uh, these are variables why because uh, for every day the cardiac output is varied according to the regular rhythmical conditions of the human patient so during that criteria uh, ecg and emg and are very bioelectrical variables with respect to these bioelectrical variables we have to place the transducers so everybody know the basic principle of transducers in the biomedical engineering so in this uh, transducer 
based upon this transducer of physiological variables for blood pressure blood flow temperature we have to measure all these uh, physical uh, physiological variables we have to know particular uh, transducer uh, operations so in the first category uh, we have electrical signals uh, which are directly available whereas in the second example we have output uh, which is electrical signal format so this biotelemetry may be helpful uh, providing the basic componental diagram for this uh, biotelemetry system so this is the basic block diagram for uh, biotelemetry system very important for our end examination so the basic building blocks for this biotelemetry subject the direct potential transducer excitor amplifier processor modulator carrier and transmitting antenna So in this block diagram, uh, physiological signals are received from human body uh, subject. Uh, the subject is human body here. Uh, this subject by means of uh, appropriate transducers. So the signals from these transducers are amplified, processed, and modulated by carrier modulation. Finally, it can be done by this uh, transmitting antenna. Uh, here, the subject is uh, human anatomy or animal body. where the parameters are be extracted by using the transducers and amplified process so finally it will be modulated to as the input of the transmitting antenna so whereas in the receiver diagram we have the receiving antenna tuner recorder demodulator and chart recorder or oscilloscope so tuner is used for selection of a particular frequency which has to be demodulated to separate the signal from the carrier wave and it has also the method of uh, displaying or recording some uh, displaying the signal something these a uh, biotelemetry systems are used to a uh, radio transmission a uh, radio frequency carrier is as a high frequency sinusoidal signal when it is applied Uh, to appropriate uh, uh, appropriate uh, antenna that can get propagated in the form of electromagnetical wave so some of thing uh, some of the important uh, parameters we have here uh, in the biotelemetry which is simply called range a modulation and a demodulation so the range which is used for uh, distance of the transmitted signal that we have to received here so these are the basic uh, fundamental elements in the biotelemetry answer a range modulation demodulation amplitude modulation and uh, frequency modulation etc so range and the distance the transmitting signal can be received for example a few several kilometers 500 kilometers from one place to another place so that should be called as a range So everybody know modulation, demodulation. What are the various definitions for AM and FM, etc. For example, this is the blood pressure. Uh, this is the example for the uh, blood pressure uh, telemetry, biotelemetry transmitter diagram. So in this biotelemetry transmitter, uh, the flush or simply a diaphragm type strain gauge transducer represented by a bridge circuit. so the stage amplification and the demodulation as shown in this concerned picture so in the figure sub carrier is low frequency generally audio range of the frequency so the signal is picked up by receiver composite signals are separated by 
uh, reformed and demodulated so the synchronized signal is separator and amplifiers are used finally a simple integration yields to the original data so the signal is picked up by the receiver uh, composite signals are separated uh, and come from demodulated so these are the subtypical examples applications for biotelemetry rf transmission for monitoring astronauts so in the space suppose a patient monitoring where freedom of movement is desired so we have to estimate concerned ecg egmg pattern so patient monitoring in the ambulance and in other world locations away from the hospital so collection of the medical data from hand home or office so research on understand and authorized animals which are be probably nature for the habit so use of the telephone links for transmission of ecg or other medical data is available special internal techniques such as tracing acidity pressure or pressure through the gastrono so these are some several applications of this biotelemetry a simple manner this is the good example for biotelemetry which is like for ambulance services 104108 etc so this is the health status of the astronaut for example we have to track the health status of the astronaut from the ground at the station uh, by using the application of field biotelemetry so this is another example for a simple prototype for biotelemetry where so biotelemetry is helpful to know the simple pathology department some small small prototype hardware architecture for the biotelemetry device so this is a simple uh, another example for the battery type of biotelemetry so this is another uh, simple example for where our uh, biotelemetry will be helpful so continuation of this uh, biotelemetry we have biopotential amplifiers uh, which are which are very helpful for uh, so this is the one example for uh, wire loop electrode uh, where uh, implantable electrodes are uh, done by silver sphere contact surface potential electrodes multi element depth electrode some examples related to biotelemetry next sub child of this biotelemetry is biopotential amplifiers so this is the main intention of this biopotential amplifiers where amplifiers are used to process the internal bio biopotential for example ecg emg eog these are all biopotential amplifiers the basic intention of this biopotential amplifier is to increase the amplitude of the weak electrical signal which is coming from a biological organ so biopotential amplifiers typically process the voltages some of the processing currents this is a simple uh, bioelectric potential with uh, incorporating differential amplifier so the data can be collected by the various electrodes which are placed on the skin surface for example skin type or suction type or needle type of electrodes so the data come can easily collected from the op amp device where the uh, signal is very poor we have to filter them 
and monitor and com proper uh, data is recorded so these are the several criteria uh, from for biopotential amplifier so we have to uh, keep input impedance should be high in the order of 10m so that negligible loading is provided to the biological system that is being measured so we have to make uh, sure whether the input impedance are in the proper uh, measurable uh, margins or not so we have expecting some amplifier should have uh, provide high gain for the order of 1000 or more so uh, weak biological signals are the order of millivolt or uh, which are be amplified so these bio uh, biopotential amplifiers uh, expecting high cmr are with a good gain and uh, the isolation circuitry is for the safety of the patient that we have to be studied so voltage appearing at the amplifier input due to the changes in the magnetical field they have to be minimized in the proper manner so this is some example for an instrumentation amplifier where the concerned data is retrieved by the biopotential amplifier in the right order so these are the some equations uh, regarding this uh, instrumentation amplifier where we are expecting some marginable gain and uh, uh, cmrr so some output stage using the bridge amplifier for driving the galvano coil in the recorder this is for additional information may not be asked in the end examination just for additional uh, implementation some of the example applications bio amplifier applications in the real time biomedical engineering on body surface potential bio potential amplifiers are used to measure the body surface potential for example ecg emg eeg rg so multi channel applications for uh, we have mri ct brain mapping or depth mapping these bio potential amplifiers are helpful to know the evoked potential we, we have a very good uh, confident on this uh, evp similarly micro potential extraocular recording and micro electrode recording these are the helpful bio amplifiers which are be regularly implemented in this uh, bio potential so we have biological recorders uh, in a bio potential on bio telemetry we have bio telemetry a bio potential amplifier selector recorders so this is the basic recorders uh, what is the simple uh, definition or what is the purpose of the recorders just uh, recorders record electrical and non electrical quantities uh, as a function of the time so this time this record may be written or printed on a later on it can be examined and analyzed to obtain better understanding and control of the process just recorders are the plotters like our cathode ray oscilloscope or some printers or some machinery which is used to know the exact uh, uh, path which is used to know exact uh, a printed output from the given biopotential amplifier simply called recorder so what is the second example what is the necessity of this recording so here i mentioned uh, it is half a necessity to have permanent record of the state of the phenomena that being suppose blood report or ecg report blood report x ray image print out so something we required when we uh, when we exit from the hospitals uh, somebody wants to say we we'll show your output or show your report of your concerned uh, organ then we have to uh, easily identify the concerned problem in by watching by monitoring the report for example blood report mri print out or something these are the various important uh, visualization so there are various recorders are helpful chart recorder graphical recorder galvanic recorder so this is the basic uh, classification of the biopotential recorders analog and digital whereas graphic oscilloscope magnetical tape so we have oscilloscope magnetical tape recorder graphic recorder which are available in our previous electronic studies and a digital recorder by using the digital recorder in our laboratory we have digital uh, techniques like digital cros incremental digital recorder synchronized digital recorder where the proper data are uh, collected easily by monitoring the concerned recording some another uh, graphic uh, recorders strip chart recorder xy recorder so this is the strip chart recorder where each uh, uh, dot strip 
so so each intensity can be monitored by a paper driven mechanism so therefore automatically trace traces of the particular signals is easy to easily to draw on the consent chart so this is the simple uh, mechanism rule for xy recorder where we have to use some plotters magnetical tapes uh, etc so we have x input y input both are be balanced with reference source so we have to easily connect it to a concerned uh, thing so therefore we have to easily point out where the concerned plottings are available on the charters so another image for the xy recorder it is easy to draw paper pen method so galvanometric recorder so simple way for galvanometric uh, metric recorder so by by uh, placing the steel core steel ring moving coil and magnet together so by rotating moment so the pen will be moved from according to the uh, magnetical moment of observing moving coil so the pen will be trace the concerned data on the paper by using the galvanometric recorder so this is something galvanometric recorder strip charter recorders so as well we will watch in our regular hospitality domain so direct writing and uh, galvanometric writing recorders self balanced potentiometric recorders I mean, this is some uh, high advanced than comparative to uh, galvano type so this is the self balancing potentiometer recorder something another ultraviolet recorder where the basic principle of ultraviolet source so from the source so this source is directly bombarding on this uh, galvanometer mirrors where the proper reflections are be encountered on the paper so concerned uh, values are be charted out so we have to place some uv light recording trace timing line so by these reflections uh, the concerned data should be retraced on these grid lines this is simply a uv recorder astronaut led to the development of monitoring devices such as the wireless electrocardiogram monitor a small transmitter placed on the chest is designed to transmit heart signals to an fm receiver even while a subject moves around his heart signals can be transmitted continually the great advantage of the system is that it permits instant visual readout and analysis this is a commercial model of the transmitter. It weighs just over one ounce. Short wires are attached to electrodes which are pasted on a patient's chest. Here is a prototype of the commercial FM receiver. Several receivers can be set up at intervals of 100 feet to relay signals from the transmitter to an oscilloscope bank seen here at a New York City medical center. This man is a chronic heart patient. He wears two electrodes attached to the transmitter, and you can see the simplicity of the system. He enjoys considerable mobility, even while being constantly monitored. Before this NASA unit was available, a patient had to remain encumbered by long electrocardiographic leads in order to be monitored. Now, a heart patient can be followed throughout the day, and if danger signals do appear, a physician can be dispatched immediately to treat the patient. You will note that this patient's heart rate remains rather constant even when he is moving about. This stems from the fact that the patient also wears an implanted electronic pacemaker which keeps the beat uniform under ordinary conditions. But if an emergency arises, signals will be observed in the monitoring room and this patient will receive immediate help.